Now we're gonna do this demonstration on Bean. This is so freaking cute. Oh man. Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, what I'm gonna teach you, because I try to do at least like one educational thing per video. So in today's video, I think we're gonna go outside. We're gonna take a look at Flipper, who is my Carolina Diamondback Terrapin. And I'm gonna show you how I'm able to actually feel for eggs and how I know that she's got them. I was actually up at six o'clock this morning because yesterday at 6 a.m. she went up on the land area and I figured she would do it again this morning and she did, so I was curious if she was gonna go and lay them. So I was up at 6 a.m., went out there, and of course she didn't lay them, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe she's close, maybe it's another week, maybe it's another two weeks, I don't know yet. Now before we get started with today's video, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button so you can see future videos of mine. Also, if you like wearing shirts, hit the link right up over here, head over to my Teespring. I have some cool designs that I think that you guys will enjoy that I made. I'm gonna be making, I think, two more later today. If you wanna go the extra step to supporting me and the channel and everything that I have going on here, hit the link up over here, head over to my Patreon. Over there you get exclusive access to behind the scenes stuff, phone calls with me, exclusive videos, videos a day early, turtles when they're available, because I'm gonna be having some hatching out fairly soon, and all that kind of fun stuff. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's get rolling. This is content. I don't know who's at my door. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good. I was looking for Michael or Michelle. Were you with? Um, like, North there? American Senior Benefits. I have no idea. She gave me her card. It was for like senior insurance discounts or something. I was like, I'm not a senior. My parents are not seniors. Is someone calling me? Someone's calling me. A lot going on before this video starts. Oh. Let me fill this up now. We gotta pull out that thing of lettuce because I think that he's all done using it. There we go. Now we got this all filled up. A little butternut is somewhere back there in the moss. And then we need to get these fellas all fed. Surprise, surprise. I'm feeding this baby spotted turtles first. Come here, little nuggets. Look, the other one's getting jealous. Come here, booger. Come here, come here. Here you go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I spooked him. For such little babies, these guys really can eat a lot. I'm kind of surprised. Look at how cute. Okay, these guys are really going bonkers. So we need to get these boogers fed as soon as possible. And y'all know the drill. Fill the tub, put in the food, put the turtles in, take the turtles out, take the food, dump it outside, refill the displaced water with fresh water. Now let's do it. Do it. Now we allow this to fill. Today we're actually gonna do things slightly differently. I'm gonna toss in the food right now, there we go. And that way while it's filling, it'll soften those pellets because we're gonna actually take Pumpkin out of his enclosure to feed him. The last time I fed him in his enclosure, the water started to smell really, really badly and I had to change it all. So today we're gonna see about pulling him out and then letting him eat first. I wanna have him eat first, that way I don't really cross contaminate these guys with them. I'm worried more about Pumpkin getting some something from these guys rather than these guys getting something from little pumpkin. Okay, let's do this. Come here, bugger. Come here. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I got you. And look at how good this little munchkin is looking. All right, go ahead. Eat, baby, eat. I think I'm gonna step away to allow him to eat because he's definitely gonna be stressed out. I normally don't pull him out into a separate tub to eat. And because this is his first time, you know, he might be less inclined to eat if I'm sitting right here. Okay, buddy, let's go back in your enclosure now. Come here. Oh, you are one weird little baby. And scooch you right back in. Here you go, Nugget. And now he's gonna be mad at me and swim away. It's y'all's turn. They're gonna eat a lot, so we're gonna put in a lot more food. There we go. Look at them all bundled up here. All right, come here, come here, come here. These are all Beans babies, all together. All five of them huddled together. And last one. Before. Remember what this looks like. So this is the after, and some of them are literally still eating. And of course, because he smells the food, freaking butternut is like, hey, please have one. I've been patiently waiting here. Please, may I have some pellets? <laughs> He's so freaking cute. Look at him. Okay, there you go. Whoa, not through the thing. There you go. There you go. You need to come here. You need to eat. You are also all done, mister. I promise y'all, we'll make our way outside eventually. I just... As y'all can see, I have a lot to get done. Let's be kind to Butternut here. Let's pop him a few pellets. There we go. Just a couple, because I don't want him getting too chunky, and he's at a really, really good weight right now, so. 
Sometimes he kind of has trouble. He has to like chase the pellets. Look at, see how he like chases the pellets down? When he moves in the water, he ends up pushing the pellets and then he thinks that it's live prey. So it's really funny. He kind of like tricks himself. That's actually how I got him to eat for the first time. He wouldn't eat in his enclosure. I had to pull him out and put him in water. And as he put his nose up to the pellets, he would push them and then he thought that it was moving. So he thought that it was alive. And then from that day on, he's been eating beautifully. Hi buddy, good job. All right, a little chocolate chip is all done. You done eating? Okay, buddy, there you go. You are all done. Shoes on, outdoors. All right, turtle nerds, I'm gonna need you to bear with me and my transition lenses. My contacts are ordered, they're on their way. I just ran out. I hate running out of contacts because I don't like transition lenses. Let's check on everyone in the pond. Wow, this water level is so freaking low. It's so low that the, why did I just step on that and break it? Why? Why am I so clumsy? I'm literally so stupid. So the water level is so low that I need to put that piece of wood back. Move over, y'all. All right, just like that. Okay, all fixed. We've got this filling up just a little bit. It's gonna rain tomorrow. Let's get these guys fed. All right, y'all ready? My camera just died and I ended up having to do some water changes. So sorry y'all missed out on that. Let's get to the topic of why we're here. There's Miss Dragonfruit who is basking, but we're not here for her. We are here for Flipper and to show you guys how to tell if your turtle's got eggs. Let's first talk about the criteria of whether your turtle can have eggs or not, like physically. So whether or not your turtle can have eggs, you can see both the boys on these two girls. If your turtle can have eggs, they need to be, it doesn't matter as much their age as much as their size. Once your turtle reaches anywhere from four to six years old, they will be able to physically produce eggs. Once they get to about this size, we're gonna bring Bean right over here so we can tell. So Bean is a four-year-old concentric diamondback terrapin, but she was able to produce eggs when she was only three years old, which was last year. Now that's a little bit strange for this species because it's just a little bit younger than normal. Like normally they need to be a lot older, excuse me. Oh, she's not happy. Okay, there you go, Miss Bean. The larger they are, the more eggs they'll be able to carry. So Bean right there is maybe six inches or so and dragon fruit is nearly 10. She is an absolute monstrous queen. With that being said, whether there are males or not, your turtles will produce eggs, kind of like chickens. They'll produce eggs no matter what, whether or not they have a male to fertilize them. It doesn't really matter. Our final tidbit of information is that usually the first clutch of eggs that turtles will have are infertile, meaning that they're no good and that they won't develop into viable embryos. So let me go grab Bean and I can demonstrate on her how to palpate for eggs. Now we're gonna do this demonstration on Bean because I know that she does not have any eggs and if she did have them, then I wouldn't wanna stress her out. But we are gonna bring out a turtle who I know has eggs. So what you're going to want to do is reach your fingers basically up into like the thigh region, into the legs, kind of into their shell right in here. I use my pinky fingers because it's a lot easier. You can hold the turtle like this and we can shove our pinkies right up in there really gently and it works a lot better when they stick their legs out. So watch, we just wait for her my left pinky is in. I'm gonna wait for her to move her right leg. There we go. And you just put your pinkies in there and you just feel around a little bit. As we can see, my finger goes all the way back in there, you see? So she's totally empty. I don't feel anything. It's completely hollow to the point where my fingers can practically touch inside of her. If she had eggs, what we would feel, as I'm going to go get our next terrapin and demonstrate. So Flipper, I know, has eggs. I can actually feel that she's heavier down towards the bottom of her plastron. Do you see this fat that's coming out of the folds? That's also a sign that she has eggs. When turtles have eggs also, they'll start acting funny, trying to escape, trying to get out, being restless, just generally a different attitude. So I'm gonna very gently put my fingers up in here. Oh man, so normally, all right, I'm gonna let her go. Okay, so what happened is, and why I'm putting her back down is for a very particular reason. Basically, you'll feel the eggs up in that cavity where I mentioned. But when they get very close to being able to lay them, the eggs move from up sort of in that cavity that I was talking about down towards like near their tail. And I just felt them down near her tail. I felt them up in her cavity just the other day and now they've moved down, which means she's ready to lay pretty much any day now. And that's why I didn't want to hold on to her for that long. She has shown no change in attitude though, which is not uncommon for terrapins. But for example, when Bean first laid her egg, she was acting funny. And the time of day or when they go to 
lay them can vary drastically. Most of them decide to lay them during the day, but you just kind of can't know. So yeah, that's why we just put Flipper back. I didn't want to bother her too much. I'm going to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow to go check on her. Hopefully she'll lay then. That is how you palpate and feel for eggs. I have no idea if those are going to be fertile, but I'm very much looking forward to them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.